get up in the morning, go to your challenging white collar college graduate job, and you work hard for eight or 10 hours, and at the end of the day you're tired and somewhat stressed, and all you want is to go home and have a good supper and maybe unwind for an hour and then hit the sack early, because you get up the next day and do it all again. But then you remember there's no food at home. You haven't had time to shop this week because of your challenging job. And so now, after work, you have to get in your car and drive to the supermarket. It's the end of a work day, and the traffic is apt to be very bad. Very bad, very bad, very bad. Very so getting to the store takes way longer than it should. And when you finally get there, the supermarket is very crowded. Because, of course, it's the time of day when all the other people with jobs to also try to squeeze in some grocery shopping. And the store is hideously, fluorescently lit and infused with soul-killing Muzak or corporate pop. And it's pretty much the last place you want to be. But you can't just get in and quickly out. You have to wander all over the huge, overlit store's confusing aisles to find the stuff you want. And you have to maneuver your junkie cart through all these other tired, hurried people with cart. And eventually, you get all your supper supplies, except now it turns out there aren't enough checkout lanes open, even though it's the end of the day. Run, run, run. So the checkout line is incredibly long, which is stupid and infuriating. But you can't take your frustration out on a frantic lady working the register, who is overworked at a job whose daily tedium and meaninglessness surpasses the imagination of any of us here. Anyway, you finally get to the checkout line's front, and you pay for your food and get told to have a nice day in a voice that is the absolute voice of death. Plastic bags of groceries in your cart with the one crazy wheel that pulls maddeningly to the left, 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 all the way out through the crowded, bumpy, littery parking lot. And then you have to drive left. all the way home through slow, heavy, SUV-intensive rush hour traffic, etc., etc. Et
the drums um, and I'm Alex Meltzer on the samplers and stuff um, yeah Rashid's set was 
Really good. <laughs> Our rehearsals have been good. The collab set is going to be great. Um, yeah, thanks for coming out and listening to music and drinking free beer. It's great. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, happy hour beer. Um, uh, we got... We got a new one coming up. Uh, this one's going to be on our next release coming out on Cavity Search Records, June 23rd. 23rd. Um, uh, so I take the train to work every day, um, and I noticed that the train bells were at like a weird polyrhythm kind of thing. So I took an iPhone recording and sampled over some classical piano, and we made this thing. Well, 
I don't know if the step go to a restaurant and they write about it in, in, a, in the post on page. Well, I, I don't know if the stere of the if the stereotype of the little art, of the artist in the studio, you know, quietly working and seeing. You know, go to a restaurant and they write about it in, in, a, in the post on page six, you know. Well, I, I don't know if the stere of the if the stereotype of the little art, of the artist in the studio, you know, quietly working and seeing. You know, is it really true anymore? I mean, it's always photographers coming to the studio and. Stuff like this. A lot more of your day daily life is sort of documented and kind of put out there, you know what I mean? And you go to a restaurant, you go to a they restaurant write and they write about it. And then they're like, post on page six. Post on page six, you know. And, and, I mean, I'm sure in some ways it's, it's, it's fun, yeah. In some ways it's fun. my fellow citizens. Today we are committed. Today we are committed. Today we are committed to a worldwide struggle to promote and protect the rights of all who wish to be free. If in short you cannot enjoy the full and if in short you cannot enjoy the full and if in short you cannot enjoy the full and free life which all of us want then who among us would be content
Today we are committed to a worldwide struggle to promote and protect the rights of all who wish to be free. Uh, the, the, a given work of art, if it's really working, should engage all of the important centers of one's being. And we, uh, used, and we uh, used to meet there. During the time that I was writing Invisible Man, I was... During the time that I was writing Invisible Man, I was walking the dogs uh, just about dusk. Uh, the, the, a given work of art, if it's really working, should engage all of the important centers of one's being. And uh, uh, if you work slow, uh, the more intricate that's apt to be, even though you, you, you throw out a great deal of it as you uh, come to the completion of that particular uh, that particular uh, work of art. During the time that I was writing Invisible Man, I was walking the dogs uh, just about dusk. Um, on St. Nicholas Avenue, about 153rd Street. We were living down at, uh, uh, two blocks below there. used to meet there in, in the morning before classes, he trying to, he uh, arranging and me trying to work out my uh, harmonic exercises or whatever little arrangements that I was putting together. I was so pleased to see this fellow that I walked up and uh, uh, suddenly I was plunged back uh, to, uh, into college days and I looked at the fellow and I uh, realized that uh, he was insane. I had gone through a stage of insanity uh, and uh, I had been in an institution. He had given up music. He was one of the finest uh, uh, jazz musicians. Well, he talked in a rambling way and his face had a certain bloated uh, uh, aspect which one sees very often in people who are likely deranged are deranged.
What's up? Seven. Should we do the last one or? Let's go. Last. Got the All right. All right. <laughs> um, we're gonna play one really short one and then start our collab set uh, if that's okay with the people. All right. Cool. This one's also on our new record. Oh yeah, we have a single that just got released and it's called Bitter Horizon. Um, it features a great singer named Catherine Feeney and a really great rapper named Dusty Fox. Um, that's also gonna be on our record. June 23rd at Hall Scene. Yeah. Woo! June 28th. June, June 28th at Hall Scene. <laughs> I need to check my calendar. <laughs> yeah. Probably this year. Hey, what's up, Dice Gate? <laughs> um, this song is called Wowee. <laughs> 